If you need help using machine, I have my video course up on teachable.com and it's entitled How I Use Machine. I cover everything from how I start a beat to finishing the beat. The link is in the description below. So if you need help with machine, go check that out. Hopefully you enjoy the video. What's up everybody? This is DDS and today I'm back with another Logic video for you guys. Shout out to everybody that watched my previous Logic videos and said you guys wanted more. So here I am delivering on that, giving you more Logic videos. I'm going to be using machine a lot more like I usually do, just the machine software to make the beats. And you guys know I mix in Logic, but I will still take the time to try to learn Logic and do more with it because I did enjoy doing it, but I will just have to be in the mood for it because if I'm in the mood to just create, I'm going straight to machine. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to make a template for Logic where machine will already be routed, have all the sounds going through to their own channels and everything like that. So that way I won't have to do it myself because I feel like that was... I guess it wasn't really too big of a step to have to do, but it still slowed down the process a little bit. So this is just me making a template for it. And you guys could watch how I do that. So I'm going to go ahead and open this, open up machine. I'm going to make sure that it's the multi output and it is. And this is kind of similar to the how to, you know, route your machine to logic video that I did previously is out right now. You guys can check that out on my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up machine. And again, I'm saving this as a template so that way I will have it already loaded and ready to go when I need it. So I'm just going to go here, change my outputs on all of these so that way it's already set to go. So that way I don't have to go through and do it manually every time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to load a kit as well just to make sure that it actually stays that way because I don't want to do all this. And then all of a sudden it's like, yeah, once you change the kit, it's no longer in that setting. And this could be very beneficial. I use templates a lot. I have a mixing template. I have templates that I actually use the machine, but I slowed down on using those because I got tired of the same VSTs loading. And you know, you kind of get to using the same sounds when you're just loading the same thing over and over again. So I'm going to leave this blank. I'm just going through here and routing it though. And I'm going to save it. I think I messed up on that one. I'm supposed to match the numbers. I skipped 11. But yeah, I'm just going to save it while it's blank and then I'm going to go back and then add everything just to see how it works. So let me just do this real quick. Almost done. All right, got that all 16 channels, even though I'm probably not even going to use all 16 channels. I just wanted to get it ready just in case. I can always take some away. All right, so since I need 16. Did I click the right thing? Should be at 15. Need one more. Okay, so now that I got all that ready, I'm just gonna go up here and hit save as, and then change it to DDS machine temp. All right, so now whenever I want to open up Logic, I should just be able to pull it up right there and it loads like this already set up and ready to go. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and open up a drum kit. Just something random. Just want to see if it loads up and it's routed. It's a pattern already loaded. So I'm just going to see what it is. Hopefully it's not too off with the tempo. Sorry, that was loud. I should have warned y'all, <laughs> but I didn't even know it was going to be that loud. Okay, so that's that's an old drum pattern and all that stuff, drum kit that I put together. But anyway, I would go in and actually mix them to where I want them usually and then make the changes later on down the line. But I'm not going to do that right now just in case, um, you know, it's actually I think I will do that. I'm going to take the time to actually do that. I'm going to actually go through and save all of this where I would want my instruments to be mixed because I usually put them in the same spot like my kick is always the first one snare or clap is going to be the second one 
and so forth on like my hi hat is always the third open hat is usually the fourth so i probably will do that just so that way that'll save some more time and i may not do that i'm not sure but this is just a quick video showing you guys how i'm making my machine template for logic so that way when i'm making beats i will just be able to jump in and not have to worry about routing and any of that stuff it's already done ahead of time save some time save some stuff on the creative process as well I'm about to go ahead and do a video on the complete control in Logic because I was asked, how do you do that? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you're not new, let me know what you think in the comments below and just continue to support me. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching.